The first tip might sound counterintuitive. But taking a break is extremely effective. If you're watching this video, you're probably taking a break. And don't worry, I take excessive breaks. Taking breaks relieves my mind to improve my focus. It also helps me in stressful times, especially when I am hyper-focused on completing certain tasks. Another exercise that I do is zooming out. During those times that I'm stuck in a problem, especially in mathematics and engineering problems, I use breaks to look around to see what inspirations there are around me. We are concentrating so hard that a change of perspective might be really helpful for us. Not only does it change our perspective, perspective mentally, but it also makes us change our perspective physically as well. Tip number two, time blocking. If you have never tried time blocking, time blocking will help you in your productivity in a matter of seconds. It only takes a matter of seconds for you to ramp up your productivity. All you need is your calendar and make space for a two hour time slot for you to get work done. And that is time blocking. Time blocking is one of my most efficient time management method because it blocks out a time for me to get my work done and for you to focus on that specific task at a time period. This is like scheduling with your friends, but for work, and for you to get work done. While time blocking can be helpful in the short term, automating and having a routine really helps you in the long haul. Automating is essentially having a protected time aside at a specific time slot for you to get work done. To automate for work, what you can do is to set a specific time slot, maybe a two hour time slot on your calendar, just like time blocking, but instead of a one-off event, set it as a recurring event. You don't exactly have to set the same exact item every day since every day is different. What's more important is for you to set a time and space for you to get work done. Tip number four is noise cancelled. To have zero distractions while working, what I do is that I wear my headphones to achieve this silence in my environment. Wearing my headphones usually signal that I do not want to be disturbed by others and I want to have my own time to do my own work. Wearing headphones really discouraged me to take off my headphones just to ask one simple question. And what I do is that I compile all the questions together and I ask them at the end of the day. I tune into my favourite kind of music while I work and that is the lo-fi beats. I think lo-fi beats really helps me to relax while I study for my exams and tests. And the playlists that I usually go are the ones on Spotify, so if you have any other playlists, do comment down below. Another help that I do to avoid distractions is to set my phone on airplane mode. Phones are probably the worst gadget of all because it really distracts me all the time from notifications, from text, from calls, from social media. But what if I tell you the greatest gift of a phone is the airplane mode? With one click of a button, the airplane mode not only brings me to my efficiency of me in plane, but it also stops me from receiving all kinds of texts and messages. So with the airplane mode on, I'm not distracted constantly and I don't need to constantly check my phone. No more calls, no more texts no more notifications and that's a great way for me to start my work again and the very last secret to having zero distractions while i study is for me to only have one tab in one browser no other software can be open and only one thing can be open at one time i take this inspiration from gaming and what they do in games is that they always blow up their software into a full screen tab and even though i might need to wait around in games i'm usually very patient because i'm just waiting for the game to load up while the games are in full screen there's no way I can do other things at a point of time. And just like in games, what I do now is that I put my browser on a full screen and I only can have one tab at one time. If let's say I'm writing on a Word document at a point of time and if I need to do some research, I quickly open up another tab. And just like in games, what I do is that I put my browser on a full screen. And this really helps me to get myself hyper-focused on the specific task that I need to do. And the last tip is to have a to-do list and prioritizing. Listing down what you need to conquer on a to-do list is really helpful, especially when you're handling a big project. It clarifies what you need to do ahead and how you can break this big project into a smaller chunk. A smaller chunk is really helpful for me so that I don't get overwhelmed with the amount of work and also to get myself mentally ready for the smaller chunks of work that I can achieve. And ultimately having a to-do list marks what you need to do ahead and clarifies what the milestones are. Once you write your to-do list, you can start to prioritize what you want to do first. Different people have different ways of prioritizing, some doing the more difficult one and some doing the easier one. Personally for me, I usually rank my work in terms of difficulty and the time spent. I think this helps me to build up my confidence if it's needed or it can help me to manage my time if I'm really strapped with time. So these are seven time management tips that I use regularly in school and also in work. And having all these time management tips not only help me to manage my time better, but it also helped me to not get too overwhelmed with the amount of work that I have to manage. I use some of these tips when I need to and I don't use all of them all together at once. So what time management tips do you have? Comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. I'll see you around. Bye.